What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. And maybe you're sick with something else and you had to take a test for that. Well, I hope you tested negative. But if you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery recovery. It's time now for the Monday edition of the Virus Update for Monday, November 18th, 2024. That's right, it's our first Virus Update since back on last Friday, and let me tell you, there's a lot of things that have come up since then. So if you want to stay informed with what's going on with all these different viruses, such as COVID, flu, uh, bird flu at this point, yes, that's becoming a big deal, mpox, measles, whooping cough, pneumonia, you name it, just subscribe down below, and I promise to help keep you informed of what is going on in the United States and, at times, other places around the world. If I see news for other places around the world, I do try and report on it. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and, of course, leave your comments down below. A little short with the intro today, but that's because we have a ton of things to get to. And I think there may be some things we do not get to. I think we may actually include an extra Wednesday video this week. Friday or Saturday of this week is guaranteed. It's possibly... It's possible that I do also include a Wednesday video this week. So let's start off with the news first. Then we'll look at some data. We got Walgreens. We also have uh, some numbers from last week from CJS that I want to get to. You know, those numbers that we used to report in the daily videos. Well, it, he did send us the um, numbers from last week. So we're going to try to get to as many states as possible. I don't know if we'll get to them all because that may just take the video too long. I also would like to include some wastewater as well. Starting off with H5N1, which is continuing to become more and more of a problem. And now it is being detected in wastewater in Hawaii. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Aloha State, you know, where a lot of people go for vacation. Hawaii is starting to detect H5N1, which is not a good thing. And there was now a pet fair in Hawaii where there are links now to H5N1 in a recent investigation by the Hawaii Department of Health and the Department of Agriculture. It does show that uh, a backyard flock of birds does test has tested positive for H5N1. And you need to be mindful if you attended this. Maybe for some reason, somehow, the Lord sent you to my channel. And you clicked on this video. If you were there, watch out for influenza-like illness and conjunctivitis. You know, pink eye, it's, it's possible. All these different things are possible because if you had contacts with ducks, geese, Yes, you need to really monitor your symptoms. Sticking with H5N1, this is, I know, this is really getting bad, H5N1. Update, U.S. reports six human cases of H5N1 bird flu, including five in California and one in Oregon. This happened back on November 15th. This raises the number of cases reported in two months, just two months, to 43. So this continues to get worse and worse. Now we had MPOX news that popped up over the weekend, and that was that U.S. health officials report the first case of the new form of MPOX in a traveler, and it looks like this was in California that this was reported. So far, it's just one case, but it's that new strain, the Clade 1B strain. So that's something that we are concerned about. I've also been talking about whooping cough a lot in my videos, and well, Washington, D.C., whooping cough resurgence reported in D.C. region and nationwide. And let's see, the whooping cough cases are on the rise nationwide. That includes an uptick in cases around the D.C. region. So far this year, the illness that comes with the cough has sickened 743 people in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, compared to just 111 cases seen in all of 2023. And we have the rest of November and all of December to go. That is a humongous increase. So this is just, uh, this is not good whatsoever. And now to this, RSV hospitalizations linked to considerable burden in adults. And one of the things it mentions is that, you know, if you're getting RSV, you're hospitalized. Well, 
That's another source of sick patients headed for the hospitals, and the hospitals have enough to deal with already, with regular influenza, uh, COVID, pneumonia, all these different things, just the regular heart attack, the stroke, someone falls, someone breaks a bone, you know, hospitals are really busy these days, and which, which is another reason why I keep saying, we really need to get a handle on this H5N1. Hospitals cannot handle another source of patients, which... I hate to say it soon could be H5N1 if we don't do something about it. I'm, I'm really concerned about that virus. But RSV, hey, there's a vaccine for RSV now. See if you're eligible to get it. See if your insurance will cover for it. If it does, consider getting it because it could prevent you from being hospitalized with RSV. It could also save your life. Moving on now to this. Australia weekly COVID update for November 15th, 2024. And not much to be said about this. All regions of Australia are seeing increases at this time. Uh, South Australia, 35% increase. Western Australia, 27% increased. And you see here, all the regions of Australia are seeing increases at this time. Now the weekly update, this is from last week, for Italy. Case fatality rate in Italy is now up to 3.3%. Ooh, that's not good. So 3.3% of cases are turning out to be fatal but mind you some of that could be flawed why because there are so many people that are just not getting tested or they are and they're using the at-home test and the at-home test does not get reported deaths added last week was 86 the patients in the icu was at 62 and the patients in the hospital was 1401 and it says here new cases they reported last week that continued to drop and it dropped by quite a bit 2,629 tests. There were 66,289 tests. So, I mean, that is quite a bit. And believe it or not, testing actually went up ever so slightly. The positivity rate was 4% for Italy. In Massachusetts, whooping cough and pneumonia on the rise. Cases of the respiratory illness are up nationally this year, signaling a return to pre-pandemic levels. And you know what? It's not just in Massachusetts. All around the country, pneumonia is on the rise. Raise your hand. Leave a comment down below. Do you know someone who has had pneumonia recently? I can raise my hand and say yes. We had a neighbor that had pneumonia back in September. And just a few weeks ago, she was still dealing with her issues from pneumonia. Yeah, and she already had underlying conditions. Um, I won't go any further. It's not my business to say what she has. But yeah, it, it's just um, crazy that how much these viruses are coming back and they're coming back worse than they've ever been before because well depleted immune systems thanks to people having covid infections all right just a friendly reminder my website is datareport.info i will get around to posting there this week i promise i'm going to post some stuff there this week i'm going to try and be more active than i have been you can see i didn't post a lot last week but i'm going to try and get back to it because I'm falling behind. There's definitely some things that need to be added there. And, hey, if you want to become a member of my site and post things, well, you can easily do that. You can just enter to uh, accept the terms of agreement, put a username in, you know, your email address, all that stuff, create a password, and I will approve your account, and you can post for free on my website. I know so many people are leaving Twitter right now and need a place to talk about these viruses. My website is a free place and always will be free to do so. Uh, last week in the UK, we saw cases did drop, which was some good news. They dropped by 30% to 1,517. Deaths were down 6.8%. Healthcare was down by 25%, meaning patients admitted to the hospital was down. That was 1,962, and the deaths in the UK was at 248. Let's take a look at what's going on with the latest air qualities across the United States, and you'll see a mixed bag of things. You see there are some minor concerns in portions of the Great Lakes down through to the East Coast, and there are some minor concerns in the West Coast, of course. My bigger concern in the West Coast is a big, giant storm system that is going to be coming for you. I talked about it in today's weather video. I didn't post that yet. I will be posting that very shortly. And if you want to learn more about the weather, Climate Data RPT over on X and on Blue Sky is Climate Data Report. It's spelled out full. They actually let me put the full thing 
in there. And of course, you can follow me over on my YouTube channel, which is Climate Data Report. I will be uploading today's video directly after I'm done recording this video. And taking a look now at what is going on with Philadelphia. On Sunday, they recorded 738 EMS incidents. On Saturday, 727 EMS incidents were reported. Let's do a live look at what's going on just outside of Philadelphia in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. We do see here that uh, there is respiratory emergency listed a couple times. We also do see a fire listed, and that could mean that there are some poor air qualities in those areas. It looks like it's in uh, Upper Moreland Township, and we also do see vomiting listed as a call as well. In Chester County, Pennsylvania, we do see respiratory emergency listed a couple times. Unresponsive person, emotional disorder twice. Oh, what's this? Stabbing. Oh, that's not a good thing. Okay. And taking a look at what's going on with Pennsylvania hospitals, we do see some yellow listed here. Any of these hospitals in yellow means, hey, the hospital is really busy and it is nearing capacity in the emergency department. Clicking on a couple here, we do see, oh, wow. Take a look at this. This is uh, the Penn Medicine Chester County Hospital. It says search status yellow. Waiting room overcrowding. 17 inpatient orders. And yeah, extended wait times. Yikes, that's just not good. What's going on up in the Pocono of Pennsylvania? Emergency department overcrowding. And wow, look at the Lehigh Valley. This is just always a problem in the Lehigh Valley portion of Pennsylvania, which includes Allentown, Bethlehem, Easton. Emergency department nearing capacity seems to be the theme up there. Wow. Yeah, that is just really not good. Lehigh, in Pennsylvania. All these emergency departments nearing capacity. And we haven't even entered the new COVID wave yet. I'm telling you, if we do H5N1 on top of everything else, we're going to have serious problems here in the United States. The healthcare system is not ready to handle that. All right, up in Canada, here's what's going on with the viral activity levels. COVID-19 is moderate. Flu A is low. Flu B is not detected. RSV is moderate at this time. All right. New data this week from Walgreens. We're just only going to do a couple states. And I think if we do a video Wednesday, we'll do more states. Because I have a lot more things to get through yet. National positivity trend is at 13.5%. Yes, it did go up this week slightly. The prior week was 13.2%. That's a difference of up 0.3%. Total test, 4,244 versus 4,009. So testing went up slightly as well. Let's zoom in this chart. Let's see what's showing. Yeah, it looks like we're in a valley right now. It looks like maybe we're about to go, you know, start increasing in elevation and go up a little bit. All right, I should tell you, the green's on here. That's improving positivity rates. The reds are worsening positivity rates. But there's many different reasons. Sometimes it could be red because testing went down and all well, that causes the positivity rate to go up. Let's start off with a state we don't usually click on, or we don't click on enough. Rhode Island, what's going on there? 12.5% positivity rate. Testing was up 24 versus 17. That resulted in the positivity rate dropping from 23.5%, which is down 11%. Now, New Jersey is rising. Got a question, what's going on there? Well, first thing I see here is 135 tests versus 143. Testing's down. 11.9% positivity rate versus 9.1%. That is up by 2.8%. I'm also seeing red in California. What could be going on there? Well, this doesn't look good. This is up for a different reason. Perhaps maybe rising cases. 9.3% positivity rate versus 7.7%. That's a difference of up 1.6%. Total test, 150 versus 143. Unfortunately, your cases may be on the beginning of rising once again, which quite frankly is not a good thing because you had such a bad summer wave and already you're starting the next wave. Yeah, not a good thing. In Nebraska, 11.1% positivity rate this week. The prior week was 21.4%. That is a difference of down 10.3%. Total test, 18 versus 14. Michigan this week, 20.8% positivity rate. The prior week was 17.3%. Difference of up 3.4% total test, 106 versus 127. All right, let's uh, quickly take a look at a few wastewater sites, shall we? And we'll see what's going on nationally first. 
and I do want to change this to the national level. Here we go. And we can see nationally, things are not necessarily dropping anymore. They're not necessarily rising a lot. There's this little wonky movement upward, but I think that will get corrected. Again, I think we're in a valley right now, and eventually that valley is going to turn into a hill, and that hill may start to turn into a mountain that we will climb as we head towards post-Thanksgiving and December. RSV at this time, yes, there are indications that that's rising somewhat. Same with Influenza A, although, take a look here, there's this wonky movement downward, now it's trying to go upward. I don't know, there's no clear direction to me there, it's still listed as low. Influenza B still listed as low, HMPV still low, norovirus, wow, we're approaching 40,000 pathogens. It is already high, it continues to rapidly rise, uh, Just no, things are just not going well for norovirus at this time. Let's click on a few individual wastewater sites and see what's going on. Let's go down to Florida. How about we check in where Disney is and see what's going on there. We can see COVID is flat at this time. RSV, though not calculated, is rising. Influenza A is rising. Influenza B, HMPV low. Norovirus is listed as high at this time. Now let's go out to the West Coast if we can. Well, looks like this, uh, Wastewater scan has frozen on us. I wanted to show you Las Vegas next, but we'll take a look at that on Wednesday. I'll make a note of it. We are going to take a look at Las Vegas on Wednesday. All right, taking a look at some data from the CDC, and we can see the latest variant of COVID is the KP.3.1.1 variant at 52%. XEC is at 28%. We will get an update to this again on Friday. Now taking a look at what is going on with hospitals in New Jersey, and we do see there are some problems in New Jersey. Central State Hospital in Monmouth County, New Jersey is a adult emergency department patient volume. They are still accepting stroke at this time, and patient volume issues at Cooper University Health in Camden, and we do see that uh, everything else seems to be fine. We do see a couple specialty and other random things, but no full diverts listed. In New York State, 372 new cases were added on the latest update. This is the most recent update. And we can see last week, they finished the week with hospitalizations still dropping. 371 people in the hospital, 43 people in the ICU. Alrighty. Let's get to some data now from CJS83172. I thank him so much for providing this update on cases from last week. He used to post it daily when I did daily videos, but now that I'm doing less videos, I am so glad that he uh, gave us the breakdown of each individual day. I'll try to get through most of this. Daily weekday reporting states totals for the week for Florida last week, 2,057 cases and 71 deaths. New Jersey, 1,485 cases and 8 deaths. New York last week was 3,015 cases and 42 deaths. You know, they're still reporting quite a few deaths in New York State. That's, that's, I'm not happy about that. Puerto Rico, 758 cases and 5 deaths. Now, the Tuesday update from last week was Maine, 298 cases and 6 deaths. Michigan, 1,661 cases and 27 deaths. Reminder, when we're seeing these totals, these are coming from the prior week, so this is pretty far behind, but it's still important to know what's going on in these states. Virginia, 1,485 new positive tests and 3 deaths. Texas, which were for the week of October 27th to November 2nd, 1,163 cases and 37 deaths were added there. Wednesday of last week's report, these are weekly numbers again, Arizona had 1,358 cases and 13 deaths. Indiana, 1,085 cases and 3 deaths. Maryland, 428 cases and 17 deaths. North Dakota, 207 cases and 2 CDC reported deaths. Nevada, 302 cases. Oregon, 9 deaths, though no new death data for the past couple of weeks. South Dakota, 334 cases. Tennessee, 1,723 cases. Washington, 25 state reported deaths. Thursday of last week, Alaska came in with 110 cases in their weekly report. Colorado had 211 new positive tests, a test case positivity rate of 6.5%. And 16 CDC reported deaths. Connecticut, 288 cases and 5 CDC reported deaths. Georgia, 
821 cases and 15 deaths. Kentucky, 731 new positive tests and 20 CDC reported deaths. Massachusetts, 866 cases and 10 deaths. Minnesota, 628 cases and 14 deaths. North Carolina, 343 hospital visits and 21 reported deaths. So, uh, if I'm reading this correctly, which I, I know I am, uh, it's looking to me like last week was still north of 500 deaths in a week for the United States. New Mexico, 761 cases, 6 CDC reported deaths. Ohio, 2,239 2, cases and 15 deaths. Oklahoma, 12 CDC reported deaths. Utah, 339 people added to their living with COVID and one death. Alabama, 152 CDC reported hospitalizations over two weeks, 13 CDC reported deaths. California, 38 new deaths. I mean, there's a big number right there. Idaho, 384 emergency department visits. Illinois, 353 CDC reported hospitalizations over the past two weeks and 22 deaths. Louisiana, 751 emergency department visits and six new deaths. N Missouri, 196 CDC reported hospitalizations over the past two weeks, 14 CDC reported deaths. Mississippi, eight CDC reported deaths. Montana, 345 cases and three CDC reported deaths. New Hampshire, 87 CDC reported hospitalizations over the past two weeks. Nebraska, 233 new positive tests and six CDC reported deaths. Pennsylvania, wow, 1,377 CDC reported hospitalizations over two weeks. So that is two weeks, including 864 for the past week and 35 deaths. South Carolina, 147 CDC reported hospitalizations over the past two weeks and six CDC reported deaths. Texas, for the week of November 3rd through the 9th, 997 cases and 20 deaths. Wisconsin had 542 new positive tests, a test case positivity rate of 5.2% and eight CDC reported deaths. West Virginia, 623 new positive tests and 12 CDC reported deaths. Wyoming, 108 new cases in the past week and seven reported deaths over the past two weeks. Again, a lot of these uh, death counts are from two weeks. So over the last uh, two weeks, we'll say, I'm going to change what I said before, over a two-week period, still uh, somewhere between 500 and maybe 700 more deaths added in the United States, and we do know, with another wave coming for the holidays, that will increase deaths once again. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Monday edition of the Virus Update. Again, keep an eye on my blue sky and X. I will let you know if there's going to be a Wednesday uh, update. Mind you, I haven't done any research to, you know, tweet things or post things on blue sky today. So I'm sure I'm going to find stuff today, tomorrow. And again, on Wednesday, I think it's just going to make sense to have a Wednesday video this week because it's looking to be a busy week. I mean, there's a lot of news that's been popping up. You saw what popped up over the weekend, which is unusual. Usually the weekends are slower, but this weekend wasn't. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry that it's a longer video, but we had a lot to get through today. This was a mouthful. Um, subscribe if you're new down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And leave your comments down below. I'm sure something I mentioned today will give you a comment. Uh, the only good news I can report on today is that with this new COVID wave that will be coming, we're going to be starting at a very low case uh amount so that is good news going into the holidays but nonetheless thanksgiving is just a little over a week away it will be bombs away for covid cases and golly i hope that's not going to be what starts the h5n1 tobacco as well i mean it's already out of control i i i, I hope that doesn't take it to the next level fingers crossed Alrighty, i will see you all again likely on wednesday until then stay safe everyone and thanks for watching